Welcome in all my friends. Lazy retired granny here, the triple whipper. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. Um, sorry, a message came up and I was reading it. Uh, today is Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. The time is 5.39 a.m. here in very dark Salem, Oregon. Not for sure what kind of weather we're going to have. Let's just ask what kind of weather we're having. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in Salem, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 52 and a low of 43. Hey Google, is it going to rain today? Yes, today in Salem, there's a very high chance of rain from about 10 p.m. until the day after tomorrow at about 6 a.m. And there we have it. Okay, you might hear my washing machine in the background. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, yeah, welcome in all my friends and welcome in to all my new friends. Wow. So glad that... You found my channel and we can have diamond painting together and a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you're drinking. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and wants to be part of this diamond painting community with me. So what am I journeying on today? Well, this is my monthly painting, and I bought this from Amazon February of 2023, and it was a 12-pack grab bag from Tiny Fun. Kind of a grab bag. You knew what was in it, but, you know, you, you, you whatever was in that 12-pack you got. And this kind of reminded me of watercolors. And I, you know, I had never done something like that before. And I just thought they were pretty canvases. Uh, and let me show you what the completed thumbnail shows here. Let me just take my tape off. And I'll bring it up. And it's upside down, maybe. I've got a new setup here. Let's see. So bear with me. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, some mountains, purple sky, some water, trees. Yeah, so this is what I have completed so far. So I'm just up in the very top section now. And actually, why didn't I think of this before? I could have just turned the painting around and did it this way. Yeah, yesterday I morning, I decided, hey, let's move everything around. And really switch things up so I'm gonna be working this upside down Ooh, something new again <laughs> oh my goodness gracious so um, yeah I've just got this top part and I'll be done with my monthly grab bag diamond painting and I just noticed down here I missed a letter right there. And let me see if I can see what it is. Okay, so that is. Uh, I've never worked upside down before. This is going to be a challenge for me. Let me just put that drill in real quick. done and dusted <laughs> I love that saying <laughs> okay so 
so we're off and running again. Let's see, what do we want? What color do we want to work on today? Get my color sheet out there. Okay, so I was working in the pinks. So I think we'll do the percentages, which is nine. It's a pretty color, kind of a light lavender. Let's, let's look. So that is color 554. Light Violet. I am hoping... Oh, my washing machine just shut off. Let me go put the clothes in the dryer. I'm going to put you on pause. Okay, got that done. Yay! Yeah, I'm trying to get everything done this morning. I want to leave about 9 o'clock because I need to go to the store and get bread and water. I've got to fill up my 5-gallon jugs. And then I am going to be taking Ellie to the beauty parlor, get her nails done. That's always a challenge. She doesn't like getting out of the car and she fights me and she becomes dead weight. And when you have a dog that weighs 80 pounds and knows how to do dead weight, trying to get him out of the car is a challenge. <laughs> so we'll see how she does today. <laughs> and I have to be so careful because of her legs now. And she's She can be stubborn when she doesn't want to do something. Yeah, she's, it's like, no, I'm not doing it. But I usually win in the long run, so. So anyway, yesterday, um, as you know, I live in a really small studio part of the house. And... The only window I have is my sliding glass door that goes outside. And I wanted, when I'm doing videos during the day, I wanted more light. And I know once the, um, we get shorter days, I'll have more light in the morning and in the evening. So I thought I'm going to experiment a little bit and change things around and move my desk so it's more open and gets that direct light. Because where I had it before was in, it, it was pretty dark where it was at. So. I moved everything around and now my desk and my crafting area is at the front of my place and my couch and my TV is in the middle portion which I think will work out really good because it's hard to watch TV when uh, you know the lights coming in so it's in a darker spot so hopefully that'll work out for me so I spent a couple hours doing that and I still have 
another section of my place that I want to redo. So I'll get to it eventually. But you know, I have to live up to my name. I am a lazy retired granny. So anyway, I got that done and then that wore me out. So Ellie and I took about a two hour nap. And it's really nice because now my couch is closer to the TV. And it's, I have my screen on my TV is 52 inches. And now it's like, you know, I'm five feet away from the TV. <laughs> so I can really see stuff now. I don't like to wear my glasses when I'm watching TV. And I only put them on when I'm sitting on the couch and I want to read what what's on the TV, you know, what a program's about or, you know, something. And so I don't like wearing my glasses. And so I have to put my glasses on to read that. And, uh, but now, I mean, I'm right there. I can see every detail. It's not blurry. and <laughs> Yeah, so I think I'm going to kind of like this setup. We'll see. The only problem, I have put my camera in a different position. So I am going to have to watch this played back um, because I'm not for sure... how this setup's going to work, but we'll find out. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit. So yeah, I was up and at them this morning. I got my shower, got the laundry going, drinking my coffee, I still have to uh, mess with my hair, but I let my hair dry and then I mess with it. My thinking is that it takes longer if it's wet. <laughs> so if it's already dry, it doesn't take me as long. <laughs> yep, I love those shortcuts. Oh my goodness. Next week, two of my grandsons have birthdays. They're one day apart and they're both going to be 14. So I gotta, I hate doing cash or gift cards but I've just had to do the year of the changes and I'm just giving them cash. Then they can buy whatever they want. And that's what they want, you know. They, they want cash. Well, my one, I may get him a gift card to... Um, I don't know, whatever that gaming thing is. So I got to talk with my son on that. But I know my grandson that's upstairs, he wants cash. They like having money in their pocket to go spend. So that's what I'm going to do.
there she is. She woke up. But at least she won't be bumping the camera because I moved the camera. She's sending the secret message to Mary. So I made my meatloaf yesterday. Um, yeah, it was okay. I don't know that I like it with oatmeal, so as much as, I mean, I've used a bunch of different stuff with my oatmeal, but yeah, I don't know. It wasn't as tasty as other forms of meatloaf, so, but that's okay. I'm going to have a meatloaf sandwich today. So what other things are exciting here? Um, I'm hoping to be back home. I think I can get everything done in two hours, so. At least it won't be raining out there, so. Ellie, she's scratching. I think I know what her allergy is. I got her some different food, which she really likes. Um, but since she's been eating it, she, yeah, she's been scratching a lot. So. We'll ditch that, or I did ditch it, so got to get that out of her system. And back to same old, same old. Yeah, I have to be really careful what I feed her because she does get food does affect her, so. And next week, yep, her favorite thing to do. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it involves water. <laughs> she always knows what I'm talking about, so I can't say things out loud. So tomorrow, Wednesday, don't forget, premiere, 4 o'clock my time, which I think is, you know, could be, five o'clock other places, six o'clock, seven o'clock, <laughs> next day, <laughs> like Mike, he's eight hours ahead of us, so So if I do it 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 1 o'clock in the morning to him, so he won't be watching. So yeah, so I'm just, you know, I'm just playing around with this premiere, um, taking your suggestions. And that's another thing. I am just thoroughly loving your comments and giving me your input on what to do on the channel because for me this has gotten to be how to interact with all my friends and if I'm putting on videos that you don't like you're not going to watch them so yeah we need to interact and 
all that. So yeah, I'm really enjoying all the input on, of what you want. And if I can do it, I will. Because I love doing these videos. And so, yeah, we're doing the premieres now. And, you know, a couple of you have said, don't do them more than, you know, a couple times a week or just do them once a week. And I thoroughly agree with that. So, um, I'm thinking... I might do one during the week, different times, so that different people can join in. And then one on the weekend. Yeah, that'll be it. So I may put one in. Well, for the people that are in um, other countries, yeah. I'd have to do one like at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just looking to make sure I got them all. I think I did. Yeah, doing this upside down <laughs> is new to me. The year of changes. The year of shaking it up and doing things different. And I'm really embracing it. I like it. More coffee. Today I am using my... I just want to drink coffee and pet my dog. Okay, I think the next one are these A's. Which is three... And that is a 209, which we have done before. And that is color Dark Lavender. Yeah, so this morning I will get my clothes folded, put away, and get this uploaded, and make my hair presentable. Get dressed. and venture out in the big world. At least I don't have to go Crepes and all around. Oh, um, I forgot to mention, I was on Amazon last night. This 12 pack that I'm doing, it is available on Amazon. So if you go to um, Amazon and then, you know, type in tiny fun 12 packs, it'll come up. And it's on sale right now for like. $18, I think is what it said. That's a good buy. So if anybody is interested in this, just I'd pass that along to you. And let's see, what else? Did I see anything? Oh, on Amazon, if you go to, well, yesterday, today's deals, and it might still be on there today, They've got a couple good deals on coasters. If you um, are into coasters. A 
we've got A's and we got V's. And doing this upside down is uh, challenging. Got to make sure I'm doing the right ones. But the A's are lighter than the V's. So hopefully I didn't do any wrong. Um, yeah, I haven't been on there today for today's deals. I didn't purchase anything I this time because I kind of spent my allowance on suitcases. <laughs> I watched, let's see, what did I watch on YouTube? Uh, let's see, I'm in the process of watching Mike's Whipping Chats. And he was saying that somebody said that they did a Timu haul and it got a strike for impingement, copyright impingement. I, it didn't make any sense to me. I don't understand that. The only thing that maybe um, it was from a licensed artist and maybe that artist has something out there that um, is copyright or is um, copied. I don't know. That whole thing just doesn't make sense to me. But um, I mean, I understand it, but I don't know, my brain just, if I buy diamond paintings from Amazon or Timu that is also a licensed art, I, I just can't remember. There's just too dang many premium companies out there, too many artists, and too many canvases that I cannot remember them all. So, I am the type of buyer that if I see a diamond painting and I like it, I buy it. I do not research. And, I don't know. And they go by different names and... Um, you know, they may not even show up if you did research it. Because what I call it could be something else completely different from what the artist named it or the company named it or whatever. So. And I'm sure I have some. And I am just not on the premium sites that much to know all of their canvases that they have. So if you're one that will not buy a knockoff, I apologize in advance, but yeah, I think that from what I understand is that since these are from China or, you know, other countries, it's too much money for people to do anything about it. I don't know. I buy knockoffs all the time. I mean, it's just like... 
um, I don't know, kind of like, <laughs> I don't have a good example. But say you're going to buy a coffee pot. Well, you have Mr. Coffee, or whatever it is, and, but yet Walmart has the same thing, but under their Walmart brand, and it's, you know, $10 cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to buy the cheaper one. <laughs> Plus the knockoffs used on the diamond paintings, um, they're usually smaller paintings. They don't have ABs. They're not as well rendered. So you get what you pay for, you know. So I guess they would be. They sell their picture and. And the company renders it however they want to, I would think. I don't know. Anyway, enough of that, because I don't know enough about it, so I'm no expert. When I first started diamond painting, that was not an issue, so. And I, y'all, everybody knows I'm old school. Okay, so let's get off that subject. Um, anything happened yesterday that was exciting? I don't think so. I was watching Young Sheldon. I am now on season two. I'm watching it on Netflix. I've already seen it once, at least. Um, I can't remember if I've watched it. So I don't think I have. I think this is because it's such a new program. I've only watched the current and then not gone back and watched it again. But hopefully they're going to have new seasons. Between COVID and the strikes, yeah. Not much new stuff coming out that I watch. I don't watch a lot of American TV. I love the British TV. I especially love the older stuff that they put out. I don't like the comedies, though. Um... I don't get their humor, so. And I do not like laugh tracks, so. They used to do that with, oh, they might still, but um, with American TV, I just don't like it. I mean, you can tell it's fake laughter. And why are they laughing? I mean, they're laughing at stuff that that was funny. <laughs> so. Elvie's been wearing a raincoat outside. It was yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was really a rain in here. And breezy and she had to wear a raincoat. I watched Tita's unboxing of the horse that she is going to be doing as a birthday present for her sister. 
Ah, oh, that is really a pretty painting. I am looking for a canvas of <clears throat> horse guard horses. I don't know if they exist, but that's what I'm looking for. Now, with that said, they do have artists that sit at the horse guards and they sketch and paint the horses and the horse guard. And I really would like to know um, who those people are. I don't know who they are. So, okay, we're going to go 208, which is very dark lavender. Um, yeah, I think if we knew the artist of those and they sold their work. Yeah, definitely I would purchase that. Because um, John has showed them their, you know, what they're painting. They're beautiful. Perfect paintings. I guess they have a horse guard artist that also paints the horses. Yeah, but I've been searching for a canvas that reminds me of a horse guard horse, but I haven't found one. I know there's a lot of horse ones out there, but just nothing that floats my boat that screams horse guard, horse guard. Now the horse guards, horses, <laughs> are black and some of them have socks on and some have um, a star and you know some of them do have some Nice markings on them. And Dreamer Designs has a London diamond painting that I want, but it's out of stock. And they are going to get it back in, so I am anxiously awaiting for that one because, yeah, I will be purchasing that. Do you have any canvases that you're waiting for them to get back in stock? Yeah, I've got my eye on when Dreamer Designs gets that in. Hopefully they'll be having a buy one get one 50% off sale because I'll buy two because there is another couple of canvases that I'm kind of keeping my eye on. Okay, color eight. Five, five. Three. Violet. So, yeah, I'll be, that'll be my next big purchase.
So V and I are going to be doing a live together. Not for sure when yet. Um, it'll probably be when we are going to start a canvas together, both doing the same one, which is the frog. I've never did a canvas with B before, so I'm really looking forward to that. There's an arrow I missed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I've never done a live before, so I need to figure all that out before we do that. That'll be exciting. So V and I will be, if you don't, if you're not subscribed to her channel, I will link her so you can follow along with us on our journey of the frog. <laughs> My frog, everybody knows, well, if you've been following me, I have two frogs. They're little tree frogs that live here. Well, I'm I'm pretending they're the same frogs. I don't know if they're they are or not, but they're very different in color. And so one is named Kermit, and the other one is Freddie. So they um, these two frogs. They, they'll, they'll come right up to me, you know, and just sit there and with me outside. And I haven't seen them for a long time, so they must be hiding away. But they'll be back in the spring. Just always hang out here. And Ellie goes right up to them and um, smells them or whatever. And uh, they just sit there. They don't move. Yeah, they're pretty friendly. But um, I had a couple frogs where I used to live, um, just a mile down the road. Two frogs that used to visit me, and I thought, oh, I need to capture them and bring them with me. <laughs> but I didn't. But I'm pretending that these are the same two frogs, and they hopped down here and followed me or hopped in my car and came down. Because <laughs> those two frogs were uh, Freddy and Kermit also. And I would, it was like, you know um, that um, Elf on the Shelf? They reminded me of Elf on the Shelf because I'd go outside and I'd look around for them and they would be in different places on my porch. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. So it was, I enjoy watching the frogs. But yeah, so anyway, so I am going to name my frog Freddy. Freddy the Frog. Okay, H is 20, and that is 996. Let's see what that is. Uh, 996, is it on the list? There it is. Medium Electric Blue. I like the name of that. Yeah, I have my little case right here. And so I pour the, the drills and then I just put that right back in its spot. And then I don't drop it and spill my drills all over because I am a member of the Spill Your Drills Club. 
And from your comments, there's quite a few members. <laughs> All right, what are we at for time? Oh my gosh, 45 minutes already. My goodness gracious. All right, let's finish the H's and then I'll let you go. If you haven't fallen asleep or tuned me out. Didn't have very many H's, did we? Make sure you uh, comment, suggestions, what you'd like to see on the channel. I do have some unboxings coming up. And you wanted me to reshow my stash again, so I'll be doing that eventually. And, but yeah, if you have any other suggestions of what you'd like, I'll try to accommodate. Because I'm not very good at coming up with ideas, so. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I got quite a bit done, didn't I? Then I just have this corner. So yeah, I'll get this finished before the end of the month. And then I can move on to the next one. If I do finish this before the end of the month, I think what I'm going to do, if you guys don't mind, because I got to, you know, stay in the Triple Whipper Club, I'll do that small duck. I think we can finish that by the end of the month. And then uh, before I start, because I have my big canvas that I'm doing with Becky. And then um, I'll still be on that in February, plus my monthly painting in February, um, plus the one that I'm doing with uh, crafting with B. So, yeah. So, yeah, go over there and subscribe to, to V so that you're all ready to go on our frog canvas. And you can see both of us. And if anybody else wants to join in, hey, join in the fun. Find a frog. Um... The frog that we're doing is available in different sizes on um, Timu. So you don't have to get the big one, which is 11 something, I think. Um, they do have, I think there's like a 20 by 20, a 20 by 30, or 30 by 40. Yeah, they got all kinds of sizes of it. Um, and what did I do with it? I, <clears throat> excuse me, that might still be under my mattress. Let me look. And it is. I was flattening it out. It's been under there for quite a while. Okay, let me show you. Well, I won't be able to show you all in one, but I'll try here. Alright, there's the bottom part. Uh, let me fold it. And there is the top part. So it's going to have a, a rainbow, the big frog eyes, Heart, which is going to be good for February since February is heart month. Yeah. So that's this one that V and I got is a 70 by 40. I think that's what it says. 
Let me look. Yeah, and this one has 27 colors. Yeah, it's very colorful. Um, v got this from Timu, and she did an unboxing of it, and I fell in love with it. And I said, I have to have that. So I think even before her video was over, I went over and ordered it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I said, you want to do that together? And she said, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. I think it's just going to be spectacular. So, I'm really looking forward to that. So, okay. So, be sure and um, subscribe to her so you can watch her progress. I'm not for sure where she's going to start on the canvas. Um, so, we will see. All right. Thanks for stopping by and listening to my ramblings here. And... I will chat with you later. Thanks for stopping by.